Hey everyone, Mr. Say here. This is a guide for round one of the Nations Cup 2022 Stage 2 taking place at Lago Major with the Radical SR3. So let's go ahead and take a look at the race details. So this is going to be a 10 up race, one make race with the Radical SR3. And be aware that this is a great start with a false start check. Fuel and tire are times one, so there's basically no strategy at all. This is a really straightforward zero stop race. However, what isn't straightforward is the way that you need to drive this car. So the gears on this car are really short to the point where the faster way to drive this car is to skip gears depending where you are on the track. So for example, normally I'd go to fourth gear right here, but instead I'm going to quickly hit the upshift paddle twice and go up to fifth gear. Track limits are extremely lax. You can abuse the curves. And right here, this is where I go from fourth gear to sixth gear. So yeah, there's quite a bit of gear shifting shenanigans that is going to happen in this race. So let's go ahead and get started with the lap guide. When you're going through the final turn, be on fifth gear. That way you get less wheel spin, you get a bit more control of your car. Bring yourself towards the right side of the track, stay on fifth gear, and you're looking for this sign right here before the pit wall on the left ends. You're going to brake right as you pass it and bring yourself down to second gear. Try to force the car to whip around this turn, brake before the white area on the right ends. Be really careful getting on the throttle, the car does get a bit tail happy at times. Little lift off of the throttle for turn three. But for turn four, you want to brake before you pass this sign that is on the left. So 50% braking power for quite a while. Uh, just doing a lot of trail braking, trying to force a car to go around this turn and carefully get on the throttle. Now the second sector is pretty hard to nail down. So this is where you want to do a lot of practice on break before the curb on the left end so you're going at full braking power for a short moment and slowly ease off of the brakes as you turn in when you hit the apex you want to carefully get on the throttle and try to be aware of your inputs as it's really easy for the car to step out over here then bring yourself towards the right side of the track brake just after the curb on the right starts you can go up to fourth gear anywhere around here. Just make sure you exit this left turn on fourth gear. So you're whipping the car around this left turn. Take the rest of the S's flat out. Skip to sixth gear right here. And just try to be really careful with your inputs so you don't end up having the car act up in any sort of way. And you're going to be going flat out for quite a while. Just make sure you bring yourself towards the left side of the track as you want to look for the digital flag that is on the left, brake right as you pass it, brake in a straight line, full braking power, and go down to third gear. Try to clip the apex, quickly get on the throttle, and bring us up towards the right, and make sure you shift up to fifth gear so you are skipping fourth gear. You can go through here flat out, just try not to touch too much of the grass as that can unsettle the car. Bring this up towards the left, brake just after you pass the track marshal stand that is on the left. So full braking power for a short moment, make your way down to third gear, carefully get on the throttle, brake before the curb on the left ends. So you're doing a little bit of braking or trail braking to fine tune the car's direction. Exit this turn on fourth gear and then bring this up towards the right or carefully bring this up towards the right and brake before the 50 meter board or before the curb ends. Full braking power for a short moment, but you want to go up to fifth gear. That way you get more control of the car as you exit the turn. So yeah, there's quite a bit of shenanigans going on with this car. If you're planning on doing this race, start practicing right now. But that is all for me. Uh, hopefully this guide helps you out. And if you like this video, you can press the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I do have a membership program, which you can check out down below if you want to further support the channel. But that is all for me. Uh, good luck with this first race. This is Mr. MCA wishing you a good race. And I'll see you in the next video.